seat whenever you're ready here. Look out. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, wow, that's Whoa. strong. With us being in Florida, you know I'm prone to getting attacked by these mosquitoes. Ugh. They're obsessed with me. I can't take them anywhere. Hey, everyone. Good what? to see your beautiful faces this morning. I hope you uh, enjoyed our little uh, 10K dance celebration that's just that's how the hanks do it dexter was not enjoying it like you guys all called it he was like he was not having it the party hat was just a smidge bit overboard for him Ten thousand people out there Whoa. are loving the dad jokes cheers to you guys i don't wouldn't say that what this is v right here a lot of people say they're a ford guy a dodge guy i'm D guy. <laughs> I just came up with that. Help me. We are in Florida right now and we wanted to actually just chillax with you guys this episode. And it is really beautiful down here. Everybody said if you're going there, have the deet, the you know, 100% deet ready. Yeah. So we got- I got the deets. Maybe I should just bathe in this while we're here. That can't be like a bad idea at all. That's what I was gonna say. Granted, I have to throw out a disclaimer there. I am from California and being from California, we see a lot of hot temperatures there. Mm -hmm but it's nowhere, nowhere near as humid. And what better way to embrace it all than becoming more dehydrated, so. <laughs> we're gonna share kind of what we've been up to. Okay. And we're gonna show you some of the cool stuff we've been doing, some awesome people we've been hanging out with. And we're also gonna share our plans this summer. Yes, because there's a lot of good things coming. That is the frame that we don't need for the fridge vent. Yeah. And even more so, I am stoked to talk about this because a lot of you have been reaching out saying, where are you guys heading? We want to meet up and- And usually the answer is, I don't know. We have no idea. <laughs> and the great thing is, is we finally know. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit and yeah. hopefully maybe meet up with some of you guys on the road. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. I got a high five this time. Yeah, so you were going for that one that time. I was going time. for the high five. In that last episode, we weren't sure about that one. In the description, just in case you want to, you know, get the same cool stuff that we have. That'd be super convenient. Was, were you going for a high five I there? think so. Okay. Honey, you have a gray hair right here. Is it blonde? It's probably from uh, when someone dyed my hair blonde streaks like two years ago. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome to Happily Ever Hanks. We're glad you guys are checking us out and you want to hang out with us. So. <laughs> If it is your first time, you might want to strap in. Run. And, uh, <laughs> be ready for us a little bit. Strap in, it's we'll, gonna be fun. We'll leave the decision to you. <laughs> Last week, we met up with Chuck and Allie from Allie Chuck Adventures. That's super confusing, but they're really cool people. <laughs> guys, they have a YouTube channel that I want you guys to go over and check out. Show them some love because they're amazing people. They see so much of Florida. They like check out every state park give it reviews yeah. we are at a sugar mill plantation is that what it uh, is? the yuli sugar mill ruins they made a lot of sugar here it's pretty sweet from what i heard <laughs> <laughs> if you go check out their channel make sure you comment below in one of their videos that happily ever hangs sent you over oh my gosh so you remember that they brought the vr with them virtual reality we finally got to try it Wow. This is trippy. I guess I don't see my feet. Nope. No. <laughs> I'm so weak <laughs> on my knees right now. Can I just like run and jump off? Oh yeah. You can if you want. <laughs> what just, did I do to this? you? I leaped forward and just my legs collapsed and I, I mean, I went right into his head. Look at what I did. Look what I did to Carl. Oh my oh god, my you god. hurt your knee too. Oh my god. Abrasion. It's just an abrasion. Ocular. What, what, what was that? What, what happened to you there? Literally made me feel like I was in reality. Like that was reality. Yeah, well. Those things are very real. Reality of it was you gave your husband a concussion. I still have a, a healing scab slash scar on my knee from that. Do you? <laughs> there, there. When we hung out with them, they also took us to a place called Monkey Island. We saw the monkeys at Silver Springs. Yeah. I was like, well, we already seen the monkeys. Turns out there's different types of monkeys here in Florida. There's lots of monkeys. Not only did we not know that monkeys existed in Florida, there's multiple species of monkeys in Florida. We have found wild monkeys for the first time in our entire lives. Babe, to the monkeys. We were able to take our paddle boards out. They took their kayak and their dog, Nikki, was 
<laughs> so cute. She was on the kayak with her little, uh, little goggles. light vest and her goggles oh, on. Oh, so adorable. So, and you know how some dogs like get on bo like boats and they freak out? Yeah. Nikki just sits there. She's, She's so calm. We want to know what are you guys doing this summer? Throw it in the comments. Let us know the deets because we want to know where you're going to be. Maybe we'll meet up somewhere in passing. We'd like to throw it out there. Yeah. Put the feelers out. What are the vibes? Tell the Hanks. What are the vibes? Hashtag hanging with the Hanks or hashtag paddle with the Hanks. One oh, of our yes. subscribers gave us a cool hashtag that- We're gonna run with that. We're gonna run with it. Yeah, cause we love paddle boarding. So hashtag paddle with the Hanks yeah. or hashtag hang with the Hanks. We don't judge, hit us up. Woo. How about a cheers to all of you for 10,000, but even more so, I think I wanted to clarify a little bit more of what you guys truly mean to us. So the reason we actually have this channel is not to document adventures and say, oh look, what is Kyle and Renee and Dexter seeing this week? It is to be an inspiration to all of you that have just always wanted to live a different type of lifestyle, knowing that RVing could open up so many doors and possibilities, experiences, memories. We wanna show you that it's not always glamorous. It's yes. not about how much money you're throwing into all these things you wanna buy and all these things you wanna do. Absolutely. Sometimes it's just about sitting in a beautiful state park and enjoying the outdoors. No doubt. We always say the best memories come from moments that are just not planned. Man, you guys are amazing. Without your support, we just gonna be here. So truly, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you guys so much for everything. It's just the beginning for all of us. I'm gonna drink to that. Cheers to Cheers you guys. To Don't worry guys, we're gonna continue to share our mistakes. And actually in this video, we're gonna share a mistake. I feel like we make enough mistakes and that's to help everybody who's new to this lifestyle realize that people have been doing it for a couple years. Yeah. We constantly continue to make mistakes. Always. I will show you what it's really like. And what it's really like is it's buggy out here. Do you need this? Don't start with me. Do you need this by your face? Yes. Ow. So here's the funny kicker of it all. You guys are probably like wondering, Kyle, why are you holding a citronella candle? You're gonna burn yourself. Let me tell you guys, you're 100% right. Cause Renee just got up to check something and I have <gasps> citronella candle all over me. <laughs> I just like moved for a second. It just went all over me. Guys, I can't so, take them anywhere. Whoa, that's strangely satisfying. I feel like that's one of these moments right here. Listen, put it back in so we could reuse this wax. Okay. Okay. Actually, this actually might keep the bugs off him now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it might. Okay. So, speaking of things not going right, I wanted to follow up on last week's video. Well, actually, it was the week before. Yeah, it week was like before. two weeks ago. And it did a doozy on it, and it hurts. Your poor D. It hurts. When I jackknifed it into the rig, I did want to clarify, because a lot of people are like, get a slider hitch or get a long bed truck. Totally hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Now the caveat to that is we actually had a slider hitch in the back of our truck. We had not needed to use it ever until that moment. Got it. So add a little salt to the wound. Yes, this could have been prevented. We would have been fine, could have been fine if you had that slider hitch engaged. So you live and learn, honestly, it's just one of those things that, you know, we could have done better, but we got to move on. We had a little skafoodle. <laughs> I love saying words because Renee has to do subtitles to these videos and oh my goodness, I make up words. And she's like, how do you spell that? So well, good luck with that one, You're gonna honey. have to be the one to figure that one out. Skafoodle. Yeah. Been working on getting that out myself. Paintless dent repair kit that Chuck loaned me. Been working on trying to get some of that out. It's been coming out slowly but surely. Not a ton. But definitely, it's a lot less noticeable yeah. now, it's, which is good. You got some of it out, it's gonna need some more professional work, I think. Yes, for sure. Or, yeah. like I said, we should just dent the other side in and make it look even. But oh. no one seems to like my suggestion. No one meaning your husband? So, been working on getting that out. Took advantage of 
Also, changing out the oil and the fuel filter while I had <laughs> some amenities that Chuck had to offer, like an oil pan and all that jazz. Wow, that, was the first, that was the first time you did that, right? It was. Being on the road, that's a hard thing. You know, you get out here and you're like, how are we going to change the oil, the fuel filter, all that being full time on the road? That's probably something we should tell some of you guys ahead of time if you're used to doing your own oil changes. Just be aware that a lot of the campgrounds and RV parks, most of them do not allow you to do work on your vehicle, which makes sense because if you spill all that oil on the ground, it's right. gonna it's not good for the environment stain the concrete pad. If we're throwing out some shade, let the Hanks know, throw it in the comments, say, yeah, we've had a different experience. I change the oil all the time, but from the general standpoint of RV parks across the nation, I don't really think that's a thing. After seeing the Blue Angels in Pensacola, like practice above us, we were so excited to go see more jets. Yeah. Well, it was your idea. You said they're having a show in Lake Lane, Florida. Their first show. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Where do you want me to land this thing, babe? Just like parallel park it somewhere. Actually, another reason we wanted to bring this up was because our friends Phil and Stacy from You, Me, and the RV. I'm sure everyone knows about them, obviously, because they're just awesome people. But they have been running this campaign called Home for Our Troops. And if you don't know Phil and Stacy, they are actually retired Navy personnel. Yes. Like, they used to be in the Navy. Thank you guys for your service. And they have been doing a campaign for donations on Home for Our Troops. Yeah, they are so awesome and they are continuing to support the military. Absolutely. And we just thought we would spread the word. And if you right. guys are interested in providing a donation to Home for Our Troops, yes, we will have the link in the description for that. And another cool thing is if you head over to Phil and Stacy at You Mean the RV, they're actually having a campaign running for hats and shirts. And they have some awesome hats. We just ordered one today. Anyways, a part of that actually purchase price is going to be donated to the Home for Our Troops as well. Yeah. So support our military guys. There's a lot of guys and girls out there that are just giving up so much of their lives. So please help us out by going over and showing some love to them, showing some love to our nation and supporting all the military folks out there. We have to make a list of things to talk to you about. And if we didn't make a list, we would be talking about wax all over Carl's body. Exactly, we would talk about the citronella candle for about three hours. Oh, so one more welcome. thing, one more thing. While we're on the topic, Carl, a lot of people are like, wait, we have Renee and Kyle, and then some people are like, Renee and Carl, like they're not understanding the correlation. Okay, my name is Kyle, backstory. Let's take it back a few years. When we first started doing travel nursing, I told Renee an inside touchy subject for me, and I was like, babe, can I tell you something? And she's like, sure, honey. And I was like, when I call people at the hospital, and I'm like, hi, this is Kyle down in the ER or whatever. I happened to mumble because I'm, you know, ER is really fast paced. And everyone always said, oh, hi, Carl. Thanks for calling me back. It became like an inside joke between Renee and I. So yeah. Renee, one night at the ER, she called me and I was like really, really trying to pronunciate well. And I was like, ER, it's Kyle. Yeah. And she's like, hi, Carl, this is, and I freaked out. I was like, it's Kyle. You're like, babe, it's me. And I'm like, oh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm married, you <laughs> So anyways, that is the backstory on Carl. So if you want to show us some love, hit the like button and put hashtag Carl in the comments because it would just be a kicker to see you guys all laughing with us about that one. So referring back to the RV life and how mistakes will constantly happen and things go wrong all the time and you just got to go with it. Huh. We were driving from one destination to the next, and when we got to our, I think it was a Boondockers Welcome site, I was walking around the RV to help back him up, and I was like, the vent cover to the refrigerator is gone. It's gone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the cover to this? If you see our cover laying on maybe I-75, guys, let us know. We're just having all sorts of fun on this trip. Yep, that happened too. This was all shortly after the dent on the truck and then backing up the RV into the yeah. roof. Stop, 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 stop. Now, let me just say, it is definitely related to user error because we recently took the vent off the back of the refrigerator to look at 
just kind of check it out, inspect it when we were in Pensacola. The screws are kind of weird on the back ear. Solitude refrigerator. Are they? Okay. Are they weird? I'm blaming myself. Okay. Another great point we wanted to bring up was we actually had to get that replaced because we were like, we don't want to leave that open, exposed to the sun, outer elements, bugs, stuff like that. Lazy days pulled through, we got it. I hope it fits. I hope so too. I mean, it might not fit. Oh, it oh fits. perfect. How Again. much was this thing? Uh, they charged me 60 bucks for- 60 for a piece of plastic? Yeah, and you can get them on Amazon for like 38. <laughs> We called around to multiple dealerships. Oh, it's a forever. Do you guys know the struggle that we're having? Do you see where the story's going right now? You know, you make the call, no one's answering, or you make the call and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know? The dealership that had the part, finally, after calling so many, was Lazy Days in Wildwood, Florida. Oh, okay. They were awesome. What I was kind of getting at before is, if you do need to order a part and you're not in a quick pinch, Consider looking on the Amazon or something. Do your research, you might be able to save a few bucks. Wow. Do you need some? Gotcha. We were at a Boondockers welcome site that we had such a great time at. We actually extended our stay there. So we did some paddle boarding there. FYI, a lot of states considered a paddle board and a kayak a vessel and you need to have a life vest on your boat at all times. You don't have to wear it, but it needs to be on your boat. We did have some water police roll up on us on the canal. You know, they didn't fine us, but they could have. Oopsies. Guys, just throw it on your boat because you never know when you're gonna need it. And totally. this might save you from a fine this summer, so be careful. We were at a Boondockers welcome site. We are like friends with them now, the Stevensons. Yep. Allie and Chuck actually came down to hang out with us again and stay there. And you know, we got to go check out Sanibel Island. Oh, we got cool. to go out to eat at a place called Nervous Nellie's. Beautiful. Amazing. Beautiful and area. we just got to hang out with them, play some more VR. We learned how to play Mexican train dominoes, which everybody in the comments has been telling us that we should learn how to play. We did it. Thank you guys. So it's really playing. fun. I think we're going to get it. Thank so, you guys so much for all the suggestions. Yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, in one of our recent videos, we were playing cribbage and we were asking you guys to share some of your favorite games, card games, especially for two people because Dexter doesn't always want to play. He just can't even, look at him. Do you have a comment? Yes, you in the back, sir. He's like in teenager mode. He goes to his room, he just sleeps all day, and, and then he wakes up and he demands food. Yeah. I mean, is that not total teenager yeah. mode? He like comes out of the cave when it's time to eat and then he's gone. And then a lot of people are like, what do you mean you're a dad, Kyle? Are you really a dad? Can you be telling dad jokes? I don't know. Yes, I you feel can. like I'm a dad. Yeah. Dad to the fur babies, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sanibel Island was really cool. We got to see some dolphins, like really close to the mm. water. We want to show you guys how to make this happen. Live life to the fullest. Can I help you? You just got to be out here and just have no plan and just wander around. That's what just, it's all about. Yeah, don't have an itinerary, just. There's a dolphin literally right there. Like I said, the best plans are to really not have plans and just go exploring. And that's what we like to do. That's what we love, man. That's what life's about, you know? Life is just so, so, so quick. And so short. I'm only 29 and a lot of you out there is like, you're so young. But I think a lot of the people that are saying you are so young are realizing now that they're at the age of like, wow, I just felt like yesterday I was 29. Yeah. I'm bringing around full circle and I'm just saying, get out here, experience life to the fullest that you possibly can within your potential, whatever your circumstances, take a long weekend trip, go see something new. Live small, experience big is, it's about focusing on experiences in your life rather than things. It's a mindset, guys. That's what we're getting at. Live small, live small up here. Just remember the things that make you happy when you look back. Was it like an item you bought or like something really expensive that you have in your house? Or was it a memory with your friends or family? Like Correct. going on a trip and sitting around the fire and laughing until like two in the morning. Those totally. are the things you wanna go for. We used to be really like quiet, introverted people and kind of do our own thing. And I know you're yeah. like, I don't get that. You have a YouTube channel, yeah. but I know. ever since we've been just like getting out of our comfort zone and meeting people that we never knew existed, it's just like changed our life and our outlook on life. And Absolutely. we just feel like it's all about relationships in your life and it's not about physical things. So now having said that, let's talk about what we are doing later this year. So. 
Game plan. We're heading to the Keys. We're going to the Florida Keys. Never been there. So we are looking forward to this. Yeah. We're, you know, we love diving. Absolutely. We love the ocean. Snorkeling. We love the sun. Paddleboarding. Anything outside. We're loving it. So that's where we're heading first. After that, we're starting to make our way back up north through Florida. And we have a goal of going to the Indiana Grand Design Rally. Yes. If you guys didn't know already, we are part of the Grand Design Nation. We live in a Grand Design Solitude. It's an S-Class 2930RL. That was a mouthful. But nonetheless, we are part of their influencer team and we are going to our first rally. Yay! Woohoo! So we, we are, are so planning. I say planning because you never know what could like pop up, but we are planning on being at the Grand Design National Rally in Indiana at the end of August this year. Woo! Super exciting. And tell them where we're going after that. Michigan. There you go. <laughs> See, I have so a, glad he I knew. knows. She's Mrs. Planner over here, so I'm happy I was on board with that one. So we're heading to Michigan after that. A lot of you are up there, Mike, yeah. Laurel. I know a lot of you have been asking if we're ever up in that way, hit us up. We'll definitely do that. We are planning on having a meetup in Michigan this summer. It's gonna be sometime in early September. Sweet. So just to let you guys know to plan that out on your calendar so we can all like do something fun. Maybe Market. we'll go paddle boarding. Maybe we'll go like on a little hike or something. And if you guys have any suggestions, throw it in the comments so we know we'll be like, that's it, we're doing that. You know, let's make that happen. Sometime in September, we're gonna kind of be up in the Michigan area. So we'll all plan for that. If you guys want to be more up to speed with um, meetups and if uh, we start doing some other fun stuff like quote unquote giveaways, please follow our Instagram at happily underscore ever underscore Hanks. Yeah, because we'll make a post there. Facebook. Yeah. We'll also have we also have a Facebook page, there. Happily Ever Hanks. So mm -hmm. follow both of those because that's where we're going to post updates on where we're going to be, yep. where we're headed giveaways, totally. meetups, so we'll definitely check it out. We'll throw it in the description so you have quick access, Just click the link, and then you can kind of hop on board with us over Woo! on those platforms. But we will be back in Pennsylvania for October for a wedding. Exciting news, what happened? Who's getting married? My baby sister got engaged. Whoa, talk about time flying fast, like, like I just mentioned. I met her baby sister when her baby sister was only 14. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, yeah. so I was like, you know, be, I watch her get her driver's license. Yeah. Graduate high school. I mean, I know I've only been graduate in your life, college. Emma, for a little bit, but honestly, you feel like my baby sister, and now you're getting married. So this is crazy. Yeah. So we'll be there for her wedding Super in October crazy. in Pennsylvania. So any of you subscribers that are in Pennsylvania for the summer, or anyone going to visit those northeastern states, the fall foliage in October yeah. in those states is so incredible. So we're really excited to be. Had headed that way so we could visit family again and friends. Totally. 